So we're going to start by thinking of the perfect job, the perfect client, the perfect job. So the it's an easy one. It's dirty, but not too dirty. They clean up for you, but there's some stuff in the way. There's you no know, kids running around and the client isn't home and it's a recurring job. OK, we all want recurring jobs. OK, so when you have visualized that job and you're ready to walk yourself through it mentally, um, then we're ready to start. First, we're going to write down all the products that you use. We're not talking vacuums and stuff. We're talking about what's your spray cleaner, what's your floor cleaner, what's your soft scrub or whatever it is that you use. OK, and then write down what you use it for. OK, so us, we don't have very much. We have our liquid cleaner. We have baking soda, borax, pumice. That's really about it, I guess. Uh, I think we have some barkeeper's friend in there now and stuff like that. Um, OK, so go through this stuff. Once you've already gone through everything, then I want you to come back and do it again. Because that's the thing with systems. You're not going to be able to do it just once. At least I can't. I need to do it a few times, which is why <laughs> I've got two systems for you to go through. OK. Let's see here. So and then you're going to go through your equipment list. OK, things that you need to know about, like um, make sure you always have that third plug on your vacuum. And if you don't have one, you need to let someone know. Otherwise, you could burn a client's house down. So stuff like that. Put that stuff in. Um, sorry. After you've gone through the list, do as I say, not as I do. Um, OK, so in your system for training, you also need to make sure that your new trainees know everything that is going to be expected from them. Not just like how to clean a house. It's what do, how do I start my day? OK, so are they going to be starting at the office? Do they just go from their house to the job? I don't know. How do you do it in your business? Tell me about it here. Um, is there anything else that they should be doing before they enter the client's home? Um, where do, where should they be parking? When do they clock in? Um, how do they clock in? Uh, then here's the biggest one. You need to train your people really well on how to get into houses because there is nothing more time consuming, expensive and annoying as someone who can't get into a client's house. So make sure that you or your admin or your VA or whoever it is, make sure that there is always job notes in whatever system you use for your employees to get what they need to know for the job, OK? Because they're not mind readers. They don't actually know all the clients like you do. You need to give them this information somewhere. Where do they find it? What is the hierarchy of thought for problem solving on this, OK? Where do they check first? Where do they check second, third, OK? What are all the places they need to check before they contact you for help? OK. So now we're in the home. That's great. Huge hurdle crossed. What are they going to start doing first? What do they do second, third, all the way on down until they have cleaned that entire house? Remember, we have our perfect house in our mind here. So for us, this is what I call our sequence. So and for our sequence, we do cobwebs first. Then we do kitchen, bathroom, dry rooms, floors, vacuum and mopping. That's how we clean every house in every order except for if the client is home anyway but you get one except for every one exception for every rule um okay your order of business may be different but i give you lots of space to write about it okay and not so hard once you're visualizing the perfect client after you have done all this then you can start thinking about the what ifs and your yeah buts and all that stuff for the different service types or complicated clients or something okay the goal is to have a standard a baseline a perfect okay and then you can add in the weirdness from there okay uh, la -da -da. okay remember to think that you're writing this for a monkey you're writing this to train a robot more or less okay if you've ever done any like 
coding. I have done a little bit of HTML, um, but not enough to actually know anything. But I do a lot of like automations building, which is a lot of if this happens, then do this. But if this happens, then do that. Um, so I tend to do think that way now. I did not before, but I've trained my brain to think that way. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. You need to be able to have a system written down so that your new hires can look at it and refer to it and know that's how this is done. Okay, there's no real exceptions to it unless it's, you, you want to have the consistency. Employees love having those boundaries and clients love having the consistency because that's the goal is to be able to send any employee to any job 